The Clone Sim plugin lets you remove objects from your scene by patching one area of your footage to another. However, if you're looking for a tool that lets you remove blemishes or imperfections, you might want to have a look at my Spot Healing Brush plugin. It's linked in the video description below. Let's say I want to remove this boy. I'll search for the Clone Stem plugin and apply it to my clip. Next, I will apply a Shape Mask and go to the Tracker. Then I will just limit the Tracker to the boy I want to remove like this, and then I hit Analyze. After Final Cut has done its thing, I will go to the drop-down menu and select Offset from Tracker. I don't need the rotation and I don't need the scale. Now let's go back to the shape and let's zoom in a little bit, but first I will make this a little bit smaller. I will get rid of the scopes for now and let's have a look. We want our mask to cover the boy at all times, so I will make it just large enough to cover up some minor imperfections the tracker may have produced and I will decrease the feather. Once this is done, we can zoom out again. And now it's time to find an area we can sample from. To do that, we can use the on-screen controls and drag around until we found an area that fits. Probably this one. If you want to see what you're doing, you can always disable the shape mask and as you can see, you're just moving another instance of the same clip around. If you don't like the on-screen controls, you can also use the sample area with the X and Y slider. I will reset this and enable the shape mask again, because I think I found a pretty good spot right here. Actually, let's play that back. I think that's good enough, nobody would ever notice. However, we are producing a little bit of a dark spot, so within the advanced section you can increase the brightness just a tad, something like this probably. Yep, let's play that back. I think this is pretty convincing. If you're having trouble removing your object, you might as well try the blend modes. So for example, if we have a look at the before, the boy is brighter than its surrounding area, so we would need to darken it. Therefore, if we change the blend mode to darken, it should do the trick as well and it gets a little bit cleaner. But let's zoom in and have a look whether or not we are actually getting a good result. Now, let's play that back. Yeah, as you can see, there is a little weird green halo going on here. So this time, let's leave the blend mode at normal. But generally speaking, if you want to remove something light from a dark background, it's always worth to try the darken blend mode. And if you want to remove something dark from a light background, it's always worth it to try the lighten blend mode.